Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't vlogged in so freaking long and I was like, you know what? Today we're gonna vlog. I have lots of updates for you guys. And yeah, so let's start this vlog off. Um, so I was just looking at my nails in the viewfinder. So you guys know I started getting dip in like December and I've always had square nails and I decided to do almond shaped and I liked it like the first two times and then the third time I had got almond so I've had almond for like a month now a month ish last time I got them they were a little too narrow and a little too pointy they were kind of giving me like witch nail vibes which like that's not what I want <laughs> I don't want witch nails a little pokey a little just like too much I don't even know why I have my seatbelt on yet I'm not driving yet um but and I'm like sweating right now but I this morning I freaked out because my nails were so long and I literally filed them all like shorter and more into square so next time I get my nails in I think I'm gonna do like square what is it rounded square rounded square to where my nails are still square at the tips but they're rounded on the sides instead of just having like sharp square I just feel like that's why I never go out of the box with nails or anything. Like, I get the same color every time because I feel like whenever I try something new, I'm like, ew, and then you're stuck with it, and then I'm just like, <laughs> So annoying. But what I wanted to give you guys a main update on is laser hair removal. I told you guys a while ago when I did my What's in My Bag video that I was going to start laser hair removal. You guys, completely life-changing, completely worth every single penny every single penny if you're thinking about doing laser hair removal and there is one near you do it just do it do I have my earrings in yeah um just do it because it's life-changing especially if you're like me and you are a hairy son of a gun just get it so when I purchased my laser hair removal package I purchased a package on Groupon so if there is a laser hair removal near you look on Groupon and see if they have package deals a lot of places when you're like a first timer they do bundle deals which makes the session so much cheaper and you get like a bulk package which is nice and then that means you're obligated to go because you spent that money to like get the sessions done and I'm telling you right now the best process I've ever started so I'm doing it in three areas I'm doing it in my underarms I'm doing it in my whole Brazilian <laughs> and I'm doing my lower stomach so like the happy trail area um I just like am so over having hair especially like down there and on my underarms just I've done waxing I've done shaving on both areas and I'm just so over it. I'm so over having five o'clock shadow, stubble, like just everything. It's like not soft, it's not smooth. I get razor burn, my skin gets sensitive. It's just like an annoying, annoying thing. And I just want to literally have no hair from my eyelashes down to my toes. I eventually wanna get laser hair removal literally everywhere. I think the next place I'll do it is my legs. I think that'll be like a really good area for me because I shave my legs every day. But back to my experience so far. So I'm going to Sev Laser, which is in Walnut Creek. They have them in LA. I don't know if they have them in other states, but I know I think they started in LA. So there's one in Walnut Creek. I got a group on there for six sessions, which I've only done two sessions so far and my hair has already decreased so freaking much i can't believe it i was like surprised i wasn't thinking that it was going to decrease as much as it has um so for six sessions for two areas i'm paying for the happy trail separately because i added that on it was like a last minute thing but i only pay 20 bucks each time for six sessions for my brazilian and my underarms it was only 375 and that is worth every penny and it's honestly not that expensive when you think about it like weigh your options be hairless or like spend 375 which you would spend you know shopping or whatever whatever you spend it on if you have extra money um <laughs> but i'm just saying if you have if you really really like are like over having hair and you're thinking about doing laser hair removal just start it i wish i started it earlier so so far i've done two sessions and it's such an easy quick process i think the whole entire appointment i'm not kidding is maybe 10 to 15 minutes i think my last point was like 10 minutes because it was my second time i already knew what to do we already knew like what level and everything that's the thing with laser hair removal too is there's different levels um so i think at sev it goes from 12 to 20 or 22 i started at 14 and then i bumped up to 18 last time um and that's just the level of laser like it goes higher so you'll feel it a little bit more I think it's more beneficial to do a higher level if your pain tolerance is fine you can handle it i think it's more beneficial to start at a high one and just like keep going because i feel like that will really just roast the hair follicle which is like what i'm trying to do um so i went up to level 18 last time and i it's so easy like you guys it's so easy literally 
all you do is you lay there you have like something covering you they do it really quick it's sev they have which i'm sure a lot of la other laser places it's the laser hair um, machine and on top of it so on top of the spot where you're getting laser hair removal and i would say laser hair removal just feels like kind of like a little flick or like a rubber band snap it's a little hot you can smell the burnt hair you should be smelling burnt hair um but at Sev Laser, they have like an AC cooling that blasts at the same exact time you're actually getting like snapped with the laser. So that makes it not as bad for of a feeling, I feel like. Like just the fact that it's cooling directly on it, it just feels like not like a big deal at all. Not a big deal. Um, I would say sensitivity wise after I maybe had one area last time where it was a little sensitive for like one day But it honestly went away um, Things you have to keep in mind though if you're doing laser hair removal two weeks before and two weeks after you are not And I know for sure it's two weeks before you are not supposed to be in the Sun So no tanning beds no laying outside no self tanner on the areas luckily. I don't put self tanner on those areas <laughs> um, but because I'm like I put self tanner like on my chest and my arms, you know, like twice a week, maybe three times a week even um, but Yeah, so you have to keep that in mind You can't wax in between appointments and you show up to your appointment like Cleanly freshly shaven to the best of your ability like get rid of every single hair on the area and shave it um, That's how you show up to the appointment and then the first laser technician I had told me she wanted me to shave like four days after the other one said wait a week um, but you can shave in between which is really nice I feel like that was always my bummer with waxing as I feel like my wax looked so good for like a week or two And then it would just like come back and then it's like I didn't want to shave because I feel like that screws up the hair growth So I feel like I love the fact that you can shave in between and so far what I've noticed with my hair is I've had a lot of like bald spots that's what they say like you'll lose hair in certain areas before other areas so like on this left armpit I literally have like not been growing back hair this right armpit I have like some hair right here that's grown back and then I have like a little oh my look white right now um I have like some little spots where I still have hair and then like there's like a spot in the middle where there's like no hair so it's all like at different rates but what I've noticed mainly is that my hair is a lot thinner when I've been shaving like a lot a lot a lot thinner and there's just way less of it which I'm like I can't imagine after going the full six sessions that I purchased what it's gonna look like um, after I do those six sessions it will be interesting to see like for maintenance reasons like it's not like I'm never gonna like have to go again I think you have to go for maintenance touch-ups I don't know if it's twice a year I don't know if it's three I have no idea what the timeline is I definitely have to like learn that as I go um, but I can't wait to see my full results after the six sessions because I've only done two so you guys I have four left you can space them out four to six weeks to eight weeks I think it's depending on what you works for you um, I think I pre books my next appointment already so when I first started my group on package I pre booked three sessions and I spaced them six weeks apart um, I think you can do eight weeks I don't know which one's better but I spaced them six weeks apart so it's just like a such an easy process and you guys if there's a laser hair removal near you just do it look on Groupon ask if they have bundle deals nine times out of ten they will and just start it because I feel like it is the most like it's a time saver it helps you not have razor burn like I just can't wait to go on a trip or be in a bikini this summer and not have to worry about like a ton of stubble popping up in like two days like you know like if you're on sorry there was a car right there um you know like if you're on a trip and at least this is for me because I have a lot of hair my hair is coarse it's dark if I'm on a trip it's like I still have to shave my armpits every single day in the summer like I have to because I get five o'clock shadow I've had no five o'clock shadow and I cannot believe I just can't believe how much hair I've already like seen disappear after two sessions and I have four more on my package so that's my update on lazy hair removal 10 out of 10 recommend I think it's like the best investment into yourself and it's just so worth it to me it's better than going and buying $300 worth of makeup at Sephora or $300 worth of clothes that was just like honestly the best money I've spent in a really long time and I'm really glad I did it so that was my laser hair removal update but what I'm doing right now is I'm dropping off three packages so I have two that I need to take to the UPS and then I have a skimmed one I need to take to USPS 
I don't know what happened. <laughs> I feel like I like go in waves with shopping. Like I'll have a week where I'm like not buying a lot. And then I'll have like one day like where I'm just like literally make six orders. And I'm like, what the heck? So from Revolve, I ordered and I don't even know why I ordered this. I ordered it honestly because it said there was only one left and I'm competitive and weird and I wanted to get the last one. So it was a black like a uh, backless bodysuit long sleeve i don't know why when it's spring i'm buying a black <laughs> a black sleeveless bodysuit but i was thinking it might be cute like out to dinner or something i don't know but it fits super weird right here it was a brand super down and i have a love-hate relationship with super down i feel like i've had i've gotten two things from them and i just feel like their sizing is a little off um i think my favorite brand to order from that never fails me um from revolve is lovers and friends la and a goldie i think those are like my two favorite brands honestly and free people i feel like that i order from revolve and that i always end up keeping unless it's like a random one but so i'm returning that i don't need a black open back body suit and it was like kind of like bunching right here like in the armpit area which is like not cute from skims i'm kind of bummed i got the soft lounge slip dress but the short version i thought it would be cute for like home like sleep i don't I don't know i don't know i just thought it would be cute i had a credit there and it didn't fit me good at all it was like not very flattering and i feel like not nearly as stretchy as the long slip dress so that was a no i'm returning that and then from aviator nation i got a sweatsuit i got the um is it the charcoal color it's kind of like a navyish charcoal and I got the zip up that has, it says Aviator Nation because they have a ton of different styles. I got the one that says it on the side and then there's the little circle that says like Venice or whatever area it has on there. They have like Venice, Aspen, they've had them like a lot of different places. But I didn't like, it was a little much, it was a little much. And I honest to God think that I like the crew necks more than I like the zip ups. I have two Aviator Nation sweatsuits. One's a crew neck, one's a pink crew neck like matching sweatsuit and then one is a zip up. Um, it's like an off white and I think I like the crew necks, how the crew necks fit better than the zip ups honestly. So I think I'm just gonna get the camel crew neck next um, and go from there. But we're gonna drop that off and then I am, do I need to go anywhere else? I don't know, but tonight I am going to go over and see and babysit the boys I used to nanny, um, which I'm so excited to see them. I miss them. I can't wait to see them. I see them like once a month. Um, I nannied them for a good amount of time and I'm really excited to see them. So I'm going over there at 6.30 tonight. I'll be with them until like 9.30 or 10 and that's the rest of my day. Today I filmed, I washed my hair. I filmed a Lululemon try on haul for you guys. I washed my hair. I did some like cleaning. I watched Real Housewives in New Jersey. I just watched that actually. Um, and Jersey is just so good. And OC is getting really good too. So I'm really, I'm really into both those franchises right now. I feel like I haven't been watching anything else because I've been so hooked on Jersey and OC. Like I've just been keeping up on those two. Um, and I'm really behind on Summer House. That's one thing I'm super behind on. But yeah, let's go to the UPS store and the USPS. We'll go USPS first. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I'm at Rite Aid, and I'm trying to find miracle, miracle Grow, like soil for this hydrangea that my mom wants to plant, and tell me why they have the best candy ever. Like, literally, every candy you could ever think of, Rite Aid. And these right here, delicious. If they had the rainbow ones, which they don't, or no, would they be up here? These ropes are delicious. Star mix is good. Ooh. I also really, 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 really am gonna get these. They're only 88 cents too. Nerd ropes are fire. But you guys, I found this and I have to buy it. I don't know how much it is, but I have to because it's a pig and I am a pig. Look at how cute this little plant is. I'm buying it. And now I just need to find the oil. You guys, my outfit too. Nike socks, Adidas slides. <laughs> okay, I need to find this soil. And I noticed the whole time I was talking to you guys before, I had something in my tooth. I'm pretty sure it was my Chipotle from earlier. Let's find this soil so we can get on the road. Wait, you guys, I was just looking at these earlier. This is so creepy. I was going through my camera roll, deleting stuff. Do you guys remember these? I have to buy these. I think they brought them back. Do you remember these from when we were kids? I'm buying them. I don't like that box, it's bumpy. Okay, 
I'm buying them. <laughs> okay, guys, let's do a little Rite Aid haul. <laughs> so I went in there for soil for my mom's plant. She's like, oh, it already got planted. I'm like, Beat me to the punch. Okay, so I got these. Do you guys remember these OG things? Oreo cake stirs, you guys. I had these, last time I had these, I was like a little kid. I think they brought them back. Sweet tart ropes in the tropical, or er, rainbow punch, I'm sorry. Rainbow punch, best sour candy ever. If you're like a sour candy person, these are addicting. They're chewy, but sour and delicious. My, one of my favorite gums. This is Five Gum Spearmint. My favorite Five Gum is a scent. It's like the light blue one, but that one's kind of hard to find. But I like the big packs like this because I go through gum like nobody's business. And then saving the best for last. Then I got, I think I'm Drano because I need Drano for the shower. Um, it. Sorry, I feel like I'm just gonna burp. Now it's too good. If your like sinks clogged or your shower's clogged or whatever, pour Drano down there. It'll help. Then you guys, I had to get this. It was only like four bucks. Why is it not? Oh, look how cute it is. It's a fake little succulent. It's a freaking pig. But you guys, I am a pig. Like that is my, that's my animal. It's a pig. I am a pig. I have a piggy nose. Like I just love pigs and it's pink and I had to get it. It was only four bucks. <laughs> so that's it for my little haul and today's little spiel. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, we'll go at like a car wash. And unless, I don't know, this is maybe too short of a vlog. I don't know. I'll see you guys tomorrow because I'm going to um, babysit in like an hour. So I'm just gonna head home. Probably put like a sweatshirt on or something. And then I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh my God, little day. <laughs> okay, bye. Hi guys and welcome back to day two of this vlog. So if you hear any loud noises in the back, I'm washing my sheets right now and I have Vanderpump rolls in the back. Um, there's been reruns on all day, but I am about to open a package and I'm about to fold a mound of laundry. That's all I've been doing all day is literally laundry. It's just one of those days. I'm on my third load right now. I'm doing my sheets and I'll show you guys what I have to fold. Just like, this is everything I have to fold. So I have a huge mound and a lot of that stuff is socks, unfortunately, which is like the worst. And then we have this cute little man over here. Say hi, say hi to the vlog. This is Bear, if you guys are new here, he's always in my videos, but yeah, I need to fold all that then get my sheets out, put them on my bed, and then I'm getting my Botox done at um, 4.30. Okay guys, so got the camera back set up. Um, but I wanted to thank you guys because I hit a thousand subscribers today and that was very cool. Did you hear my washer? Um, that is how you know it's done it literally sings a song the washer and the dryer both do that but um i wanted to thank you guys if you are newly subscribed if you've been subscribed this whole time thank you guys that was a very big milestone for me personally um i've written it down on my list of goals for a long time i actually wrote it down on my list of goals for march and it's the end of march in two days and i literally hit, just hit a thousand subscribers so i'm super super excited and i can't wait to keep making videos for you guys and that was just very exciting for me it doesn't sound like a lot but just to me personally that's been like on my list of goals for a while now and the fact that i hit it it's just like a really cool milestone so done with that because we're getting we're gonna get a little sappy over here but i just got a package in and i want to open it for you guys and this package is from the brand or i don't know if the brand's called the bar but it's this oversized sweatshirt that i've seen a lot of people wear and it says the bar on it and it's an oversized sweatshirt that looks super comfy super soft it comes in a few colors and i noticed that they only have sizes medium large extra large and i think maybe xxl i think but there's no small it doesn't start small so it starts at medium it's supposed to be that oversized look and they're always sold out and they're called the varsity sweatshirts um so let's open these up <laughs> But I finally, like last week, I actually ordered this while I was in the shower. My hair looks so weird. Um, I actually ordered this sweatshirt while I was in the shower. 
because it always sells out and i got the email i was like changing the song or something and i noticed i got the email um that said your items back in stock and i was like waiting for restock and i'm like yes so i snagged it um and i'll try it on for you guys so we can see what the fit is like um and the quality but this is what it looks like the bar even though i don't like going to the bar it says the bar on it <laughs> so this ooh, cute is that a fuzzy what is that oh there's some gray little fuzz i'm so weird this is what it looks like though it's like an off-white and then it says the bar in nude i just thought this was a really cute like spring summer crew neck i feel like i have so many dark colors like i wear so much black and i feel like finding a white crew neck or like a white little comfy cozy is kind of hard okay quality is good so far oh cute the fit looks like it's gonna be super cute so this is what it looks like let me try it on i have lip gloss on so i do not want to get this on my lip gloss but let's try this on Ooh, okay it's nice and thin which i like um honestly first off it doesn't get that cold here in california and second off i'd rather have it be thinner than thicker but i love the white i love white oh my god i'm definitely wearing this today um i'm just probably gonna maybe switch into leggings but oh cute this is so cute i don't i'm only looking like in the viewfinder right now this is really cute. Let me go in like the full length mirror in my room. Um, but really cute. I like these colors. These, this will be so cute. Oh my God. Look in this lighting. The bar. So cute. <laughs> okay, let me show you guys in full length because I haven't even seen it in full length yet. Glad I got a schmedium though. Oh, cute. Okay, you guys. This is what she looks like. Okay, guys, this is what. Okay, the, you guys, this is what she looks like. This is so cute. I was not, honestly, because I feel like it looked so oversized on everyone, expecting it to fit this fitted and this cute. I don't even think I would wear it with gray sweats. Like, I didn't think I was going to, but I feel like I totally could. I'm going to put leggings on um, later, and I'll show you guys. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, but this is really cute. It was like 68 bucks. The shipping was fast. And I really like the material of it. It's like a thin sweatshirt. So if you like thin sweatshirts like me, it's not like choking me too. I hate that when a sweatshirt is like choking me. But the brand is called The Bar. Look it up on Instagram. And I'm getting my Botox later. I haven't gone since December. That was the last time I went. And I'm also going to do the lip flip again, which I loved. And it's like totally gone. So as you guys can see, my Botox is literally gone. So I have, I get Botox right here and just right here. So it's 13 units. It's not a lot. Um, I like to do like the least amount just because I don't want it to like I've got Botox one time for whatever reason it made my eyebrow look super weird so oh excuse me I only get 13 units and I just do it in my 11 lines which are like is the main issue for me that and then up there a little bit um, and then I'm doing a couple units in my top lip to flip my top lip up and I love the lip flip if I have to recommend one thing to you guys Anything in like that filler or just whatever arena arena area <laughs> Why did I say arena if I was to recommend you guys one thing to try in the realm of fillers and Botox I would say first off do Botox. I don't like fillers in face. Um, I just I, I don't like it um, And I think that lip filler can only take you so far and then it starts looking very fake and that was always my thing with lip filler. I feel like I was really addicted to it and I was going all the time. And then I just had like a build up and then you guys know I dissolved it all. Um, so I would say if you're like, want to do something to your lips, I would not like, I'm not I'm never going to get lip filler again. I never said that. I will still be getting lip filler, but just way less than I was going. But if you guys want to try and do something to your lips, I would say try the lip flip. Super cheap, super inexpensive. I can still drink out of a straw after that was my thing that worried me. I didn't want to not be able to drink out of a straw because it is paralyzing like the muscles right here. So like... They said you couldn't maybe make a kiss face or drink straw, um, drink out of a straw, but I was still able to do that. So I'm definitely getting it again. And it just is nice. It just like makes your top lip appear more full and it's just really nice. So I'm going to do that today and I need to fold this mound of laundry, but I wanted to update you guys and tell you guys, thank you 
for hitting 1,000 subscribers with me. So freaking exciting. I'm like super excited about it. And I just like had it, had it in my mind for so long and it's here and I'm so happy. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think. I feel like I had another thing. Oh, this is what I want to tell you guys. This, I knew I was forgetting something. You guys, if you like, maybe I should make one so I could show you guys. Could I do an iced coffee? 148, I probably could. Okay, so you guys, this is my new jam. I got this from Target. It is the Khalifa, I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm just saying it like I would say was Khalifa, but it's the Khalifa Farms Oat Creamer Cinnamon Roll. You guys, this is the closest thing I've had to like making the brown sugar shake and espresso at home. Cause you know how the brown sugar shake and espresso from Starbucks has cinnamon in it? That's where I feel like I get this taste. This is so bomb. I prefer this in iced coffee versus hot coffee. I have been putting it in my hot coffee in the morning because no, what did I have the French vanilla? I had French vanilla in my creamer this morning in my hot coffee. But for iced coffee, if you guys like iced coffee and you're into the brown sugar shake and espresso, seriously try that. It matches my shirt. My top two is Skims, by the way. It's a Skims cotton rib in the color mineral in a size small. Love this tank. Um, but yeah, this is my new favorite creamer. So that's why I want to show you guys. And also, um, I think that was it. Um, I am gonna be filming a lot next week because I'm actually off of work next week, um, which is super cool. I started with a new family recently and I really, really love them. They're super cool. I don't even know if I told you guys, but my last job of nowhere, I got fired. <laughs> Like literally out of nowhere and I was just like very taken aback and not expecting it and it was very abrupt and I've never had that happen to me in my entire life like ever anytime I've ever left a job it was like it was a mutual thing or I was leaving because I was doing so or you know what I'm saying like I've never had that happen to me so I was a little distraught um but I found another family to work with and they're super super cool I really like them um but I'm off next week which means I have time to film so I'm gonna film some stuff for you guys next week um I have some ideas on my phone but I definitely really want to vlog more um and a couple of you guys have have told me that you like my vlogs so Let's do some folding laundry and then I'll make my iced coffee for you guys and I'll show you guys. But if you're in the mood for a new creamer and you like oat milk, try that out. Um, but I need to get my hair cut and you guys. So where I go to get my hair cut, it used to be like a hundred bucks to get my hair cut. Then it went up to 120. Then I went up to 140. And then I just looked to go book my hair cut with them. 175. I was like... A lot for a haircut like that's a lot i will pay a lot of money on a lot of stuff and that's a lot i was like whoa 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 whoa, whoa. relax relax <laughs> um so i don't know when i'm gonna get my hair cut honestly i'm gonna try and push it out i did cut i had my mom cut like just like a little bit off the ends and i feel like it's a little bit thicker which is nice but i had to prioritize botox this week i was like i need to get my botox done i'm frowning too much it's looking really crazy and I had to prioritize that over that. So we'll see. Okay, you guys, before I start folding laundry too, I wanna to show you guys my newest addiction. These Tate's, this lighting is trash. These Tate's double, triple, whatever you wanna call it, chocolate chip cookies are literally kryptonite. They're scary. I just want you guys to hear the crunch. Let me move the camera. That's, that's literally staring at me like, fold me, please. Listen. Mmm, mm, so good. You're so good. They're crispy. They taste like brown sugar. They're delicious. Let's get to folding.